Hello world, it's Birdo Fry 5 Kapla. And I just found out the Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 trailer just dropped a couple hours ago. And let's take a look at it. It is for Strange New Worlds Season 2. And we've got Spock, Captain Pike, and First Officer Una front and center. And remember, last season ended. Una here was being arrested for having uh, genetic augmentation. It turned out she wasn't a human being, but some sort of alien species where they do genetic, uh, genetic alterations. And as such, she was not legally allowed to be in Starfleet, which makes no sense. Because the genetic thing I thought was a human, like a human law, but I suppose what, no species in Starfleet is allowed to do genetic research. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever, let's just see. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the official trailer starts now. So I guess everything before that wasn't official. And we got a Paramount Plus original, and we have a sun, a star, and Una is uh, doing the voiceover, saying, in the mystery and vastness of space, we come together. And there's a clip, a picture of the Strange New World's Enterprise. And, you know, there's going to have to be a reckoning because now that Picard season three has happened and we saw the USS New Jersey in the Fleet Museum at what, Athon Prime, whatever it was, uh, it looked like the original, uh, no bloody A, B, C, or D Constitution class that we all remember from Star Trek, uh, the original series. That was it, that was the Enterprise. Uh, that was the constitutional class, that constitutional, constitution class uh, in the Fleet Museum, uh, and it did not look like this. So where does this ship fit in, in Star Trek history? Uh, I don't know, because it doesn't seem to fit in Picard season three, although it was, it was in Picard season one. Will they explain it, or is it just something we should all forget about? My guess is they just hope we forget. Uh, it would be nice to get an explanation, though. Uh, I gotta say, we get a, an interior shot of the bridge, and this is a beautiful bridge. It's a well-lit bridge. Uh, it's not the Enterprise bridge we know, but it is a, a beautiful bridge nonetheless. Much better lit than anything in season three of Picard, except perhaps the Enterprise D. Um, certainly nicer looking, better lit than the Titan. Una is saying so many crew members from so many planets. And we get a look at this woman who I believe is a famous actress. She looks familiar, but I do not remember her name. Oh, we got we got Erica and Dr. Mbanga sharing, looks like perhaps uh, dinner or something. Uh, and Una is saying everyone's on their own journey. And we got Captain Pike. Captain Pike is asking if Erica is ready for some fancy flying. And she says, you know it. You know she's you know she has this. And looking at her console, there's a proximity alert. And some some nice some nice console graphics. I wonder why her own picture like Erica's own picture of her own self 
is right there in, on the graphics. Like, what does it show? The user who's logged in? Uh, that seems a bit weird. I have no idea what this enterprise with the fucking ring around it on the center hole is here, but okay. And uh, two phasers at once shooting a uh, a giant asteroid with two phasers at once cutting a hole to what to fit the whole ship through and spock is like looking off to his side like this this doesn't appear like it's going to work but sure enough sure enough it works she breaks it through and we've got what nighttime on some sort of desert uh, some beautiful, uh, I don't know if you can call them Aurora Borealis, because God knows if they're in the uh, northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. But you got some, some sort of northern lights thing going on, a giant moon. And we got, oh, I forgot her name. This is Khan's. Khan's great great granddaughter, Pike and Spock. And we got Dr. Mbanga and uh, Nurse Chapel looking at each other. Nurse Chapel uh, got beat up a bit. Looks like Mbanga might be rescuing her. And uh, Enterprise burning in space. The Enterprise burning in space. And James Kirk. Just beamed on board. Okay, I'm guessing it's not the Enterprise. This must be some other starship, I guess, burning in space. And they say, meet James Kirk. And uh, Khan's uh, granddaughter here seems, seems to be quite taken with Kirk. Oh, my God. This guy... This guy does not give me James T. Kirk. This guy does not give off a James T. Kirk vibe. Maybe he will, but I'm not seeing it here. And Una, Una is saying to Khan's uh, granddaughter here, you have an energy. Una can feel it. Una can feel it that she has the hots. She's got the hots for James Kirk. Oh, it's, Una says it's making her sweat. So Una is getting hot off of this woman being hot by being in the presence of James Kirk. June 15th. We've got a shuttlecraft flying. Oh, Klingons! We got Klingons. We got, what is this? Spock having some uh, blood wine with some Klingons. Actual Klingons. Okay. Here's the problem. We finally got some good-looking Klingons. Some traditional Klingon Klingons. Okay. Klingon enough. They're not TNG Klingons. They're not DS9 Klingons. They're not movie Klingons. I'd say they're 15%. They're not 20. They're not 25% different Klingons. They're maybe 15% different Klingons. They're certainly perfectly Klingon enough, except for the fact that at this time period, they're not supposed to look like Klingons at all. They're supposed to look human, right? I mean, Star Trek Enterprise did like a three-part episode on why the Klingons don't look like Klingons anymore. Now, maybe they shouldn't have done that, but they did. They did do it. So now Klingons should not look like this. Don't get me wrong. I understand they don't want to be bound by Enterprise. But I'm going to say, if you want to do a prequel, or, or whatever, you know, you, you need to be bound 
by your previous canon. Now, if you don't want to be in the same time period or the same timeline, then that's fine. Then come out and say that. That said, if these were the Klingons Discovery used, I wouldn't have complained a bit, except for the fact that Again, even in Discovery, they should have been human looking. But whatever. I could live, I can live just fine with these Klingons. If these are the Klingons they decide to use, it will be a most minor, a very minor nitpick that they don't look, they don't look like they're supposed to. I can live with these. Okay, I can't live with Klingorks. These are not Klingons. These are Klingons. They're not the perfect Klingons, but they're livable Klingons. Spock even goes, ah. You know, maybe these are Klingons that, you know, have already started to heal. But if they'd started to heal, we should have seen these Klingons in TOS, and we didn't. Oh, we got some jelly in space. The Enterprise, the Enterprise is flying through jelly in space. I hope that makes sense when we get to that episode. Uh, somebody dropped a test tube. We got uh, Nurse Chapel walking around. Leave your world behind. I wish I could. I wish I could. What the fuck is this? A castle? What are they? They're coming up on a castle. And and Pike. Pike has a an old style spotting scope. Like a Galileo's telescope. That I guess I guess he's got the technology that the planet could, you know, they would understand on the planet, although his jacket looks pretty nice for a uh, medieval level of technology planet. And the woman behind him looks even better dressed. Uh, we had uh, somebody getting their ass kicked. Uh, we have uh, ooh, people getting blown out into space or sucked out into space. No, blown out into space. We got cons granddaughter beating up somebody in a boxing match that they're clearly practicing. Um, Ahura. Oh no, did Ahura crash the shuttle? I don't think so. That shuttle looks like it's been crashed a long time. It doesn't look like whoever crashed that shuttle walked away. Dr. Mbanga. We got Spock playing his musical instrument or getting a voiceover from uh, Una again, I believe. I used to think of myself as always alone. But not on this ship. And Ahura gives a little oh, curtsy. Is that what it's called? A, a curtsy? And I forget again this actress's name, but she looks very familiar. Uh, she's she's smiling there at Spock. And we got Nurse Chapel and Dr. Mbanga giving each other a fist bump as they walk into a turbo lift. And Spock is saying great wonders and great dangers. Or maybe it was Pike, I don't know. Spock and Nurse Chapel are in spacesuits, which is good for them because it appears the ship they're on is blown to hell and they're about to be ejected into space. The next great age of exploration. And it looks like we've got some type of maybe trial going on. And then it says, starts with us, says Pike. And we've got Spock, Pike, and Una on the bridge. Oh, we had a, a Klingon 
D D O. We also have. I guess that's a Gorn. I'm guessing that's a Gorn. We're up close and face, up close and personal with a Gorn. Ooh, that is one ugly looking alien. Uh, but that is one beautiful ship. Not quite a D7. Not quite a D7. Warps in. I'm guessing this is a D6. We had the D5, I believe, in Enterprise. So I'm guessing this will be a D6, uh, very much in keeping with the spirit of the D7 and the Katinga. And then we get this ugly looking, again, Gorn, I guess it's Gorn, lizard looking thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a type, that's a thing of nightmares. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this space dock? Is this early space dock or some type of space station? And we have the ship is upside down. And Erica is saying, say your thing. Everything, everybody in the chair has their thing. So I guess this is Spock's first time in the captain's chair. And he's going to say something like engage or you know, whatever he's going to say. And I doubt they're going to show us what he says. But let's see. They're getting close. And about, I guess they're going to, they're going to cut away right before he says it. Okay. They tell us what he says. And he says, I would like this ship to go. Now, I would like the ship to go pause now. And Ahura is laughing at him. Erica is also smiling and laughing. Everybody, everybody's laughing at him. And it warps away. Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, new season, streaming June 15th. Oh, they're in a department store. They're in a modern day department store. I wonder if they're back in time or just on an alien planet that has yet to evolve. And, and James T. Kirk can't operate, can't operate a revolving door. And oh, but Miss Khan, Miss Khan is my grandfather here, says, you've never seen a revolving door before. Well, no, where would he see a revolving door? Unless he's been to what, the Royale? And oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Captain Kirk, not Captain yet. Lieutenant Kirk, whatever his name is. James Kirk. says he's from space. The answer her question, never seen a revolving door before. And he says, I'm from space. No, you're from Iowa. You are from Iowa. You only work in space. <sighs> you know, until this, until that, I would have said that was a decent trailer. It was a decent trailer, and that was it. That was it, a decent trailer. But for that very last line where James Kirk is saying he's from space instead of from Iowa, that's like minus, minus 50%. I don't know. Uh, listen, I'm happy to see the Klingons. I'm happy to see we get some decent-looking Klingons. I'm happy to see, uh, well, to be honest, that's all I'm really happy to see. Um, let's just say it doesn't look like they did anything else 
to to ruin can well you know they did that i mean the entire the entire inclusion of james kirk as an idiot or, or a guy who can't even fucking open a revolving door what more what more did they need to do like why is kirk even part of this show we know why because people want captain kirk people want captain kirk but i have a i have a bad news to bring t- to you alex kurtzman everybody knows that's not captain kirk that's not captain kirk that's some schmuck you found to play captain kirk you're not going to fool us you're not going to fool us that said Strange New Worlds, June 15th. I guess I'll be reviewing each episode. Uh, I will see you guys for some Strange New Worlds starting June 15th. I hope I enjoy it. I hope you do too. But if we don't, we're going to have 10 Ten lousy weeks. Ten lousy weeks if we don't. I can't promise. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I'm if I had to guess, if I was a betting man, I would bet it's not gonna go well. Just seeing what they did to Captain Kirk, I would bet it's not gonna go well. But we'll hope for the best. We will hope for the best. I hope you enjoyed my... Why would anybody enjoy this? Never mind. I don't know why anybody would enjoy it, but I hope you found it interesting, I guess. Cut flaw all, bird out.